I'm Kelly Warner. Influenza kills more people every year in the U.S. than all other vaccine preventable diseases combined. More than 100 children died from the flu last season and thousands more were hospitalized for complications from the virus. This year, the flu season is expected to start early and extend into late spring, which is why parents are encouraged to immunize their children sooner rather than later. Let's listen to your heart, okay? Pediatrician Dr. Pilar Bradshaw remembers last year's flu season well. It started as early as late October. Some kids were coming in positive for influenza, and there were still kids testing positive for influenza in May. Anticipating that this year's flu season could start early again, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that all children six months and older be vaccinated. Children younger than one getting the vaccine for the first time will need two doses to build adequate immunity. In addition, the nasal vaccine called flu mist is once again not recommended because the CDC says it's not as effective as the injectable vaccine. I think a lot of people have anxi anxieties about the flu vaccine because there is actually quite a bit of misinformation out there. Dr. Bradshaw worries people may not vaccinate because of an article circulating in various forms online. It was published in 2013 in the British Medical Journal, supposedly from a scientist at Johns Hopkins, claiming the flu vaccine is potentially dangerous and its benefits overestimated. According to Snopes.com, the oldest and largest fact-checking site on the Internet, the article was written by an anthropologist, not a scientist or a doctor. It was not a research article nor a peer-reviewed study, and Johns Hopkins had nothing to do with it. While it was published as a feature in the British Journal of Medicine, it was greatly exaggerated by other websites that used it as the basis for their own articles. Dr. Bradshaw says while no vaccine is 100% effective for 100% of people, it's the best protection we have against a potentially deadly virus. Influenza itself is a terrible, uncomfortable illness. We hospitalize kids every year for it, and if it can be prevented with a vaccine, that's great. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that children receive their influenza vaccine by the end of October, if possible. The injectable vaccine is inactivated, which means it does not contain a live flu virus and cannot cause the flu. If you have questions or concerns about the flu shot, you're encouraged to talk with your doctor. I'm Kelly Warner.